Oh, what's going on YouTube, Man Elite here, and welcome back to my Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough. We pick up after the last episode on our way to the Deep Secrets of the Earth main scenario quest, aka Sunfall. Let's hope this time we don't uh, get our butts whooped so much. Make sure to restock on supplies. Sunfall. The Mad King drowned Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. I'm still hoping we learn a lot more too, because so far I don't know a lot about what's going on. Another very basics. At some point we will come back and do a truckload of side quests. But as of right now, we're going to do the main scenario. And we also have the DLC to uh, play through at some point. Seven metal shards. Are you joking? Is this some sort of like fighting pit? The Sun Ring. A proud tradition of the Kaji. It's not like this in Meridian. At least, I don't know. Give them time. I'm sure they missed. it. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, if you want to hear about today. By the glory of the sun revealed. Why is this guy wearing a star on his head? Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman, does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. That's absolutely Uthid's nothing. Royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. For the Kestrels. They want us to see this, boy. This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see me. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Oh, what? I thought I was going to, like, jump across them all. Oh, this is brilliant, this. How the heck am I supposed to get out of here? Hmm. 
Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go down. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Is this like the point of no return? Good job we saved it so then I'm we can come down. back and do all the side I've stuff. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. Malfunction. Oh, Malfunction. Every time. Malfunction. Me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. No, of Emergency course the venting mechanics procedure don't likely work. to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Yes. Emergency venting authorized. I understand. Too bad now I Of everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i hope so impatient i'm the one getting hunted and about to die oh what the heck welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Selection of beverages and snacks are available. Oh, sounds good to me. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. I think I'll do a little bit more exploring first, buddy. Initiating playback. 
Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. What? Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Ha. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. No. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? For one reason. To buy time for you. And the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Well, it's a good job I didn't bloody die. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? So much data points to collect. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? 
I'm sorry, I wasn't... Uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? I didn't know it paused. The general said. Oh, that was Not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. I mean, you better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship, it's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. He needs a set of this guy. Is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people, they feed off them. They do Not indeed. Just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Uh, doc, uh, please, you get Ted Pharaoh in here! Want to discuss? Oof. So Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas global serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. I always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. What a weirdo. I think there is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. 
In the waiting area, I was seated with a noble laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm, the pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I oh, mean, I've already played this one. Never mind. That was weird. Data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life it's itself me. will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed? from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew. This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. Me? An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother the Nature nice. as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. Huh. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, oh, I get to it. greening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. That would be it's good. not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real.
Oh, well, that's not a bombshell and a half. But then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. For life. For us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? Why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I... Uh, the, the, the damage that I... I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That's uh, the better than rapid innovation. Uh, a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard, to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be a uh, atonement. If you're still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. <laughs> a habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Albert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... After which? They kill ya. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security. For your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? I'm very sure. Medical I'll tell you. In excess. Surprised. No. Flabbergasted. Like my own man would say. Flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a spaceflight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist. A, a dangerous fantasist. He's kind of blue-skying. It's... <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. Oh, what are you... You don't... Get your hands off me! I feel like I'm going to have a fight now. So basically, they got brought in to work on it, and if they ended up feeling... Like they didn't want to, they were, uh, I'm going to assume terminated. Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, don't die now. Yeah, cheers for that. Oh, there's water.
Come on. Yeah, go on. I'm soon. Bloody firework launches. Pick that up since they don't seem want to actually push. Get out of my cave. I'll take this. I didn't want that. Power's down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. I got more data pads and stuff, probably. See? Got one here. Now, those lame FBI and black hats at Mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute. And just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect you to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn? No, ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Sounds like Jeff. Zero Dawn. He is art in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my tours. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. I can see where she's coming from. She spent her whole life talking about history and the art, history of art and stuff like that, and she doesn't want to see it lost. Need to find the right configuration.
Alright, so it's going to be left first. Uh, that's going to be up. That's going to be left. Down and then right. Done. I should check the door nearby. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a hey, storage area nearby. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Great. So I guess I have to go for the admitter, or emitter, not admitter. I'm not supposed to go up there. What am I? Maybe I'll go up here. No. Okay. This is overly confusing. And this is a storage room. Found one. Looks intact. She said it was in reverse, right? So right down and then up. Oh wait, no, down, left and then up. Okay. So that's not right, so we'll go up left. So up, left, down, right. And then up. So that's not right either. So maybe it's down. Right. Up. Left. Down. No. Right, so that's not right then. Am I missing something here? Is 
So it'd be off. Right. Down. Left. How am I wrong? So it's down. If I look there, it should be left. Up. Right. And then down. Did it. There we go. Have power. Why do I play games with puzzles? Gluttons for punishment, me. Absolute gluttons for punishment. How the hell did you get in here? And I've had to do all the puzzles. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? Much for avoiding contact. I won't lie, them freaking fire firework launchers don't have hit. Oh, 
Oh, this guy's got a minigun. So uncivilized. For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. Yeah, let's just take a minigun, shall we? Good job I accidentally planted those mines there and then they all just blew up. Like that was uh, quite genius, if I do say so myself. Any audio logs in here? For more information? No. Okay. Now this thing is dangerous. Bring in the minigun, shall we? Anybody want Hello. some? Hello, I'm Margot oh, Shen, she put and the this shit is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Great. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So... Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon. But hey, everyone has to start somewhere. True. So, yes. Time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. And will we find out why next time on my Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough? Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and join me again when we explore more into uh, Project Zero Dawn. Appreciate you all for stopping by. I've been Man and Lee, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.